Hello guys, today I'll show you guys how I do grading calligraphy without a colorless blender. So start off by writing whatever you want to write with the lightest color. Now I'm going to be using the second color and I'm going to be just shading in the first half, the top half, with this color. Now I'm using two colors here but I will show you later how I do it with three colors. Now I'm going to blend in everything with the previous marker that I used which was the lightest color. Now that's pretty much it. You can do it with different colors as well, like right now I'm doing it with pink and red, even though they're really similar. But you can do it with different colors as well, I've done it with green and blue. So the next few are just examples I've done with different colors, and I'm using the Crayola Super Tips for this one. Now I couldn't find much of this but basically I just wrote it with the marker which was my lightest color and then using the pencil crunch I lightly shaded the top half and then I went darker when I was getting like to the top. So this is important and basically if you want the like, gradient to be nice and everything to blend nicely, you have to make sure both of the colors are either alcohol based or water based. Right now I'm using the water based ones and it's easier to blend it in if you're using the exact same like, what, like base. If it's alcohol based and water based as I'll show later, it doesn't turn out very nice. Now I'm going to show you guys what happens when I'm trying to blend a alcohol marker with a water-based marker. They will not blend nicely and right now it looks okay but at the end they have like, they're not blended and it just looks like a bunch of blocks of colors. So while I'm blending this, basically the paper was ripping because I had to go over it like several times because it wasn't like blending very nicely.
Now I'll show you how you can do this with one color. And basically, it's the same steps. You use this one marker and you just write it out. And when you layer the marker on top of it itself, it will get darker and darker. Let me know if you guys would like to see how to do highlights and drop shadows and other things that you can do to make your calligraphy look nicer. I'll make a video on it next time. Now here are some better examples from my journal.